Hi guys, I'm Umar, top boxer Sadiq, professional super midweight living in London. I was born in Nigeria and in 2016 I was in the Olympic team. In 2017 I turned professional promoted by Hall of Fame promoter Frank Warren, one of the biggest names in world boxing. I model and I've started alongside David Beckham. I vlog to give you all an insight into the life of a boxer. I also entertain in and out of the ring to spread love and lots of good energy. So this is me guys, I promise to give you guys all unfiltered access to the life of top boxer. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Happy New Year, guys. It's 2020, and we're about to own this year. Yeah, baby, let's go. Right, today I'm in Loughton. Nice area, lots of big homes. Not on the street, but yeah. So I am going to the movement clinic with Ricky McFarlane, the SNC coach, that's strength and conditioning, and a few other fighters to do some cryotherapy treatment. For those who don't know, cryotherapy is when you go into chambers or rooms that are designed to, well, they take the temperature down sub-zero degrees and, oh, there we go. Yeah, they take the temperature down sub-zero degrees and the idea is it's an easier way to have a, a nice bar, so to speak, and aid recovery. Hey, yeah. hey, sorry, what's your name, by the way? Rob. Rob. Is this your studio? Yes. All right. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Getting ready to be frozen? Part. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming. All right, what's going on? Come in. Yeah. Come on. Look All right, cool. Nice. Ooh. It's, so it's the only one I've seen. What's going on? Yeah. Where you actually go completely inside? Yeah, heading. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the proper one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not these knockoff ones. <laughs> Sweet. Right. So as you can see, I'm the first one here. No one else is here because we want to keep it on time. Rough and rugged because I'm in camp, but at least I'm on time. So I'm gonna sit about, wait for the rest of the guys, and then we're gonna go in. I try to make this a competition. I try to make a challenge out of this, and if we're allowed to, we're gonna do it. So this should be fun. Look out! So I'm getting bit. See, so we have some more arrivals now. They're trickling in. I'm I'm in the final morning three. So we got a fucking rocky in and um, have you guys done cryo before? Um, Never. Yeah. First time. Yeah? First time freezing. First time freezing. I reckon your first time you're going for half hour, yeah? I mean, if that's allowed, I'll probably do it. Alright, let's see when everyone else gets here and then we can Same get back in. Right, I was like to get a bit cold, so I put my coat on. We've been asked to get changed and go in. He looks like he's about to get changed here. Yeah, ready, ready. We're going two at a time, let's go. Yeah, come on, baby. Oh, is it two at a time? Yeah. It's just basically. I want to go with Ginger. I want to go out naked. Ginger, I want to go in the view. I'll draw right if you're here, yeah? Jamie. I said I want to go in the view. You want to go in the view? Yeah. Like the Duracell. Like the orange, yeah? So dumb. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, obviously, Ricky's not here, and everyone else is not here. But we're gonna go in. Have you been? You haven't been in that one yet, before, have you? No. no, no All right. Really not. Cool. So he says the maximum you can be in there for is four minutes. The reason why I want to go in with Ginge is because he's super competitive. Mentally. Yeah, mentally strong. So am I. And actually, I want to challenge someone. So let's go in. Yeah, we can see now. Last man out of the way. Wait, you know what? Nah! Listen, listen, listen. I had it on my hand. He bro. is late! I had it on my hand, bro. Oh. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, listen, listen. I had it on my hand, bro. Yeah. Ain't no joke. It wasn't even recording. Right, I'm, it's good because you know your comments are very inappropriate, so I'm glad that was I thought I was recording. Alright, so again, for the vlog. Ginger, um, Jamie and I are going to go in, first person to come out loses. That's a competition. It's going to be you. You reckon? Yes. Apparently because I'm vegan and I'm West African, I'm not going to last for the competition. 100% British vegan. <laughs> so, it's, it's kind of factual racial, but let's see. So let's do this. We're going to get changed, get ready, go in, and you're going to see a West African beat an English guy <laughs> in the cold. First time for everything. Stage, you want to get out, put your thumbs down. I'll talk to you while you're in there, right? Hey, it's claustrophobic. Of course, mate. Ready? Hey, mate, this is long. Three, two, what's that? Transmission series. 
camera footage, we turn that, um, like the light off, you can see. Oh yeah, that's freezing. You boys all right, yeah? Try and move around a little bit. It's like shadow boxing. It's shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> so how can we tell? How can we tell how long they've been in there for already? Little timer here. All oh, right, I see it. How long is that? And the timer. All oh, right, okay, it's counting down. Cool, great. And then at the end, they can give a thumbs up to get an yeah, extra minute. Like Coming up to three minutes, I'll tell them, you come up to three minutes, do you want to do a little bit longer? They put their thumbs up, we'll give them an extra 30 seconds or a minute. Alright, cool, sweet. I'm going to go for the minute. Say that. <laughs> say that now, listen, if I say it, I've got to do it, innit? <laughs> Where is your little soldier? <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to run on the spot? Yeah, yeah, move around, move around. Yeah. Definitely. It's enough room. Circulation. Right, so guys, I'm, what I missed was Robert asked them if they wanted the, the extra 30 seconds or a minute. Yeah, what did they think? Another about 10 seconds so you can feel them coming out. Uh, yeah, cool. Well, he's got 10 seconds. This is the gear that you get on. You've got the socks, you get a headband or a woolly hat to cover your ears. And then you also get flip flops or slippers. So these are gonna go in first, I'm gonna keep my coat on to stay warm and then I'm gonna go in after. Hey, has Ricky been in already? <laughs> Explain to us, please, the benefit of what we've just done. The benefit of cryotherapy, so it reduces all the inflammation in the body. So mm -hmm. inflammation um, stops range of movement, flexibility, causes pain, so it takes all that away. Obviously, improves the range of movement and flexibility. Uh, Releases endorphins, so positive thoughts. So mm -hmm. if anyone's sort of got anxiety, mood disorders, really good for that. Yeah. It's going to improve your quality of sleep. Wow. So if you've got a sleep disorder, it's absolutely amazing. You, all you boys will sleep well tonight, trust me. <laughs> Nice. Uh, yeah, perfect. If I sleep really? tonight, I'll be in here for a man more time. <laughs> <laughs> another day, another grind. Yo, it's Uber, the top boxer. I'm here at Hayden Oak Country Park. Meant to be meeting with the McFarlane system, guys, because we're doing hill sprints today. We're meant to meet here at 1.45 p.m. It's now about 1.50 something. We're going on one, going on two o'clock, basically. And look, look, look.
whilst I wait for the late arrivals. And I don't remember if I've wished you guys a happy new year on this episode yet, but if I haven't, happy new year from the top box. So I get it, get it, get it. This year we're going all the way to the top. All the way to the top means undisputed. That's not happening this year, but you get the idea. We're grinding, man. We're ascending. We're climbing. And this is what I'm putting in this work. Grafting hard. Listen, I genuinely live this life. Obviously, as you can see, I'm on time all the time for training and training acti um, related activities. I'm doing my studies at home, film studies. I'm eating right. I'm doing everything good. I'm also eating popcorn, which is a major key to the success. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess I'll just use this opportunity whilst I'm waiting for them to talk about what my plans are for this year. And that starts with boxing in February, I hope. So towards the end of February, I hope I'll be boxing. If not, it'll be March, early March. And then um, we crack on from there. So ideally I'll be having a title fight then, but we'll see whether or not that comes through. And if it doesn't, then, you know, all I've got to do is let them hands go and put in a great performance to make sure they fight after as a title fight because this next fight I'm going to have is going to be against a meaningful name, a meaningful opponent. I have two undefeated opponents being offered to me right now. I'd happily fight both of them. It's just that I'm pushing more for one of them because there are a lot more rewards of fighting the one I'm pushing for. So, um, as far as I know, the person's team's accepted it, but then I'm being told they're not on the show. <laughs> Who knows? Man, a swerving man, in it. Say it. What? They're just swerving, man. Hey, listen, I'm happy to fight anybody. It just needs to make sense. I've got two names. I want one preferably because it makes more sense. If they bottle it, I'll happily fight the other one. And guess what? Kind of savage. Savagery. You know what? That's it. 2020 tone is savagery. That's all you're getting from me. Absolute savagery. Watch what I'm about to do in 2020. Oh my God. I get so gassed just thinking about it. I know I'm in the safety of my own car right now, doing my own thing. No one's here, so I'm just letting it all out. Anyone who owns a car or has owned a car will like, let you know that like, there's something about a car that makes you feel like you're in your own safe space. Anyway, but listen, 2020, the motto is savagery. I am absolutely going to savage up everyone I box. So... Yeah, that's basically the tone for 2020. Now, these men are taking long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make good use of this time. I'm going to get out, change my trainers, and then just start warming up whilst I wait for them. You've got the fastest footballer running with us. Oh, come on, Rick. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You're, you're, you're meant to be building our confidence. I'm hang on. What's his name? Tyus footballer ever recorded by a GPS on a football pitch. Go on, bring him up. 9.8 meters. Bring him up, bring him up. Let's have a look. McFarlane train, you understand? McFarlane train. All right, they get it, they get it. <laughs> oh, there he is, there he is. <laughs> What's this? You got a record for something? Yeah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> cool, uh, I'm gonna change my shoes and we're gonna get it cracking. Well done. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
<laughs> bring them out, bring them out. Click the like button, leave a comment. I always try to reply. You can also follow my social media platforms with the links down below for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Remember to share, subscribe, so that you never miss another episode of the Top Box of Love. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out.